Today, we have a problem from the HMMT of 2023. We are given that P of X is a cubic polynomial, very important. We are given two constraints. P of the square root of 5 is 5, and P of the cube root of 5 is 5 times the cube root of 5. The first thing we need to do is note what a cubic polynomial is. So, what it means is basically P of X, cubic polynomial, this is just AX cubed plus BX squared plus CX plus D. That is our cubic polynomial. Now, we can actually put this in um, with the first constraint. Since we are given that P of the square root of 5 is 5, this is our X, so P of the square root of 5 is equal to 5. This is also equal to a times 5 times the square root of 5, since um, this is now our x, plus 5b, plus c times the square root of 5, plus d. Yeah, so now we can also do something here a times 5 times the square root of 5 plus 5b plus c times the square root of 5 plus d minus 5. You subtract the 5 to make this a 0. Since this was 5, subtract the 5, it is now 0. So what we can do is we can now take out factors. The first factor is what we're going to take out is the square root of 5 from these two terms. When we take it out, what we're left with in the a term is just 5a. And what we're left here is just plus c. And now all the other terms, you just add them. 5b plus d minus 5 is 0. Now, this is a very like special case in which they are all integers, and this is like just the key to this problem. So, in this case, when something plus something is zero, these two terms in the parentheses, they have to be both equal to zero. So, um, 5a plus c is zero. Now, you might be wondering why I didn't include the square root of 5. The square root of 5 is irrational and therefore irrelevant to the topic. We have two, um, two formulas according to what I just stated. This is the first one, 5a plus c is 0. And our second one is 5b plus d minus 5 is 0. That is our second one. Now, we can do the exact same thing to the second constraint we are given and actually solve what p of 5 is. So, we do the same thing with this constraint. Let's just do that. So, p of the cube root of 5 is equal to, you just multiply this out, 5a plus b times the square root of 5 plus c times the cube root of 5 plus d. And we are also given that this is equal to 5 times the cube root of 5. Sorry, I wrote it at the end. But now we subtract this to make it 0. So it's going to be 5a plus b times the square root of 5 plus c times the cube root of 5 plus d minus 5 times the cube root of 5 equal to 0. Now, once again, we can factor out things. So, we just, that has a square root, we can leave that hanging. We factor out these two because they have a common factor of the cube root of 5 and add the d and 5a because um, that's not what's left over. So, we add them in a parentheses. What we have is 5a plus d plus b times the square root of 5. We left that out because it has a square root. And then plus, take out the 
cube root of 5. What's left is c minus 5 is all equal to 0. Once again, in this scenario, earlier we explained that like all of these have to be equal to 0, so we use the same strategy we implied up here. So according to that, we are given that 5a plus d is equal to b, since the square root of 5 is not, is irrelevant, is equal to c minus 5, is equal to 0. So, there, so now we can imply the same trick up here and solve uh, the formula for p of 5. What we do here is we can just solve for a, b, c, and d. Since we know that b is 0, d is 5. We know that d is 5. Here, a is negative 1. c minus 5 is 0, so c is 5. So we have our a, b, c, and d. The first thing we need to do here is we can write our p of x equation. p of x is equal to, well, a is negative 1, so negative x cubed. There, b is 0, so there is no bx squared. And c is 5, so plus 5x. d is 5, so plus 5. Now, we can actually plug p of 5 into this equation. When it is 5, x is 5, sorry, that's still an x. 5 is equal to negative 5 cubed plus 5, well, just 25, because 5 times 5 plus 5. So um, we just solved this. P of 5 is equal to negative 5 cubed, which is 125, so negative 125 plus 25 plus 5, 30. This is equal to negative 95. And that is our answer for what P of 5 is.